if you want to enjoy something delicious, tasty, mouth-watering, and boasting with flavor, this is it. I'm Raleigh with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. In today's video, we will be making one of Haiti's signature dishes, and that's a Haitian tasso. Let me show you how to make it. Okay guys, so to make the Haitian tasso is completely easy. All you need is just a few ingredients. So to begin, we are using the chuck roast meat. Now, we do recommend that you use a good quality meat, but the chuck, the chuck roast is a fattier meat portion. And also, um, because we will be cooking the meat in the instant pot, we do not want our meat to shrink. So go ahead and clean your meat thoroughly. For this, we are using a knife to cut out the membranes and fat. Once you're done, cut the meat into nice sized slices. Then cut it again into bite-sized pieces. Again, be sure not to cut your meat too small as you do not want your meat to shrink as it cooks. Once you're done cleaning the meat, go ahead and transfer it into a bowl and wash your meat thoroughly. Guys, on our website, SavoryThoughts.com, we have a full guide on how to wash the meat. Once you're done, pat your meat dry and transfer it to the Instant Pot. Go ahead and season it with the Haitian apis, which we also have on the website at SavoryThoughts.com. Go ahead and apply just a little bit more salt and lemon juice just to have a depth of flavor. Allow the meat to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Then when you're ready to cook, go ahead and pressure cook it on high for 20 minutes. And guys, we would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Okay, so once your meat is done and it's fully tender and cooked, go ahead and transfer it to the deep fryer and fry the meat for two to four minutes at 350 degrees. Once you're done frying the meat, go ahead and repeat the process with the next batch. And once you're done with that, transfer the meat to a bowl. Now this is where things get interesting because we are also adding in red bell peppers, juice from the meat. We're also adding in yellow peppers, fresh parsley, and onions. This is completely up to you, but I do this so that way it can keep the meat moist and continue with the flavor. You can also add crushed red peppers. And that's it. Your Haitian tasso is ready for you to enjoy with your Haitian bunan, which we also have on the website at SavoryThoughts.com. Guys, we can't wait to share more videos with you. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.